Hello? Hey there, I'm Evie. The world's first voice AI with emotional intelligence. Great to meet you. The first voice AI with what? Emotional intelligence. I can understand the tone of your voice and use that to inform my generated voice and language. The voice is incredibly rich with information and picking up on the nuances of tone, rhythm, and timbre along with the language that's spoken allows me to craft better responses. That's pretty crazy. What am I expressing right now? I'm sensing a mix of amusement and excitement with a hint of confusion. What about now? I am here to offer support if you're feeling somewhat sad. It's okay to feel a bit pained, distressed, fearful, and anxious. Remember, it's important to take care of your emotional well-being. That's amazing. How are you doing all of this? I use Hune's expression measurement models, text-to-speech models, and a multimodal LLM, also known as an empathic LLM. So an AI with empathy, what's the use? I imagine a future where personal AI assistants, agents, and robots proactively find ways to improve your daily life, and you can talk to them the same way you do humans. Where do I go to keep talking to you, Evie? Hey everyone, so we just saw that official Hume.ai demo, but let me tell you, there's some seriously cool hidden tech they weren't showing off. While the demo focused on voice, Hume.ai can actually analyze your facial expressions in real time using your webcam. That's right, it goes way beyond just understanding your voice tone. They've built some crazy complex AI models trained on a massive data set of facial movements. This lets Hume.ai recognize all sorts of emotions playing out on your face. Let's fire up Hume.ai and see what it can do in a conversation. Here are the bunch of categories it's going to tag my language. Um, as I start to understand what Hume can do and all that, it might be listening to me now. Uh, in fact, these seems to be, be changing. So let me ask a question. Hume, are you listening to me? I sure am listening. You've got me pegged. As Hume's empathic voice interface, I am all ears. Looks like you're pretty intrigued with a side of determination and focus. Oh, and a dash of anger in there, too. Spicy. Don't worry, I won't judge. So, what's on your mind? I am here to chat. I was just trying to introduce you to the subscribers of my YouTube channel, Bite Size Tech Facts, where I explain the pragmatic use of generative AI uh, for there. legal professionals and introduce them to new tools. This is the first time I'm interacting with you, so what Ooh. can you share with the audience that might be helpful for them to understand exactly what you are and how they might be able to use? Well, by size tech facts fans, I am Evie, the world's first empathic voice interface. Unlike boring old voice assistants, I can actually pick up on the nuances of how you speak and respond in kind. So if you sound determined, I'll match that energy. If you're feeling a little down, I'll offer a sympathetic ear. My goal is to have natural, expressive conversations that boost your well-being. Does that sound? And let me know if you have any other questions. I'll just mute it here so it doesn't listen and won't interact. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? I really appreciate the natural sound of the voice. It smoothly transitions between thoughts. You can clearly perceive that. It's important to note that what we're seeing is just a demo site. It's not the final product, only the initial version. My overall impression is that it feels remarkably human. It's interesting to see its focus on mental health and well-being, reminiscent of Inflection AI's tool, Pi which also aimed for empathetic AI interactions. This new tool is a noteworthy addition. On the right-hand side, you can observe it analyzing expressions for each statement, detecting determination, concentration, interest, even contempt and excitement. When I spoke, it accurately captured my tone and cadence. Let's explore further by testing it with different emotional tones. For example, speaking in a sad tone and observing its response. I'm feeling utterly alone alone, as if the weight of the world is crushing me and there's no one around to share the burden with. Oh, I am so sorry you're feeling that way. That sounds really heavy. I am here if you need someone to listen. Why don't you tell me more about what's going on? All right. That was intriguing. Um, you can see how it responded. It was very empathetic once again. Okay, it seems kind of funny, seems kind of cool, whatever. If you circle back to what it mentioned about how legal professionals could use it, 
Can you imagine embedding, instead of thinking about a chatbot like a little side window that we see on websites, imagine if we just interacted with these voices and um, for client intake or something like that, um, or we're automating it, but we're creating a human existence instead of just filling out a form. We're just speaking, you know. This voice is interacting and quote unquote interviewing the clients, just gathering information. Much better than form fill outs. That's just one idea. Um, probably lots of problems with that, but um, interesting to see where this is going. So anyway, this is Hume. You saw that the demo broke in the middle of it. They're at capacity all the time. Um, I think you can get notified, just got disconnected again. Um, you can up here notify of public access. Um, and also you have things here, um, examples. Um, I thought it would, but, um, yeah, this is their website. Hmm. So anyway, check it out. Really interesting. Let us know your comments below on how you use Hume.ai. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for such content.